Las Vegas residency was postponed. Well, now it's coming out that it was due to her relationship with Rich Paul. Oh. Apparently, she said on her video, I'm just so upset. I'm really embarrassed. And I'm so sorry to everyone that has traveled to get to the show. She's 33 years old. She shared this Instagram story earlier this month. Everyone was hoping that it was going to be a better outcome, but she had to share the sad news that her Las Vegas residency was going to be postponed. And uh, she says, I'm so sh uh, sorry, but my show just isn't ready yet. She told followers on January the 20th, we tried absolutely everything that we could to put it together in time and be good enough for you. But we've been destroyed by delivery delays and COVID and half of my crew and my team is sick right now with COVID and they still are. And it's just been impossible to finish the show. But now she was feeling gutted, upset and really embarrassed. Well, the truth shall set you free. Issues with her boyfriend, her sports agent uh, boyfriend, Rich Paul. Boy. There is trouble in paradise, and that's why she could not perform. Now people in her camp are saying that she was crying through rehearsals and interrupting them to take phone calls with Paul. It should also be noted that she was spotted boarding a plane from Las Vegas to Los Angeles after announcing the cancellations. Although, this is just all rumors right now, but we don't know what the real issues are. That has not been revealed. She says she just can't focus. Her head's not where it needs to be, and uh, we just have to wait. Okay. And see for those rescheduled dates. All okay? right. But I would be upset because those tickets went on sale around Christmas. Yeah. And they sold out. So people got their plane tickets, hotel stays, flew out, got there, and then they were told the night before, show's canceled for tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, I already know. Th that would be it. And then she says that it was due to delays and deliveries and COVID I don't care. And yeah, but, yeah, but at that point, no one cares what the and reason now is. now the like, real reason is because she's having like a relationship problem, which I get it. And that does, you know, yes, get to your it head. Does. But yes. as a performer and this. As a you have to ticket like, holder. No, that would be it for me. Yeah. No, I'd be done. Yeah. No, no more concerts so, for her ever. That's I, I what's mean, going on with that. I would be flying out there. Can you imagine? And then Here be you are canceled all your prizing, No, you know, I want a wife, I, let's say. I want a full refund. And you have the flight, you're there, you nope, have the hotel, done. and you're nope. expected to go the next night to see the performance. Wow. And I'll, you get an email. Show canceled. Had more fun uh, you know, cruising the town than going to see your dumb concert. Wow. I would be I would be pissed. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I know. So I'm just you saying took off work and no. everything. Nope. Right? Using your vacation days. Hell no. <laughs> All right. Now, Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson. Yes. They're together, they're going strong, and now they are dining with Jeff Bezos. Hey. Oh. All right, so they joined him for dinner in Los Angeles. They are dining with billionaire Jeff Bezos. It all went down earlier this week, sparking rumors that are they going to be on their next Blue Origin rocket? Are they going to go to space? We don't know. It's unclear exactly what the group was discussing. Um, maybe they were talking about his house because he did purchase this new home. It was $165 million in 2020. The property originally um, belong to the Warner family, and so everybody's trying to figure out why these two are uh, dining with him, but we shall see. Now, Tom Brady. Yes. Got to fill you in on this. We are on Brady Watch still, even though ESPN's sticking with it. They are. They are, but I'm going to you know, read you this story, and you tell me how you feel. So the headline here says Tom Brady has not yet made a retirement decision. Okay. Okay. The reports that may have come out were premature. Now, of course, we trust ESPN insider Adam Schefter. He did make this report. He said that 44-year-old football legend Tom Brady has decided to retire from the NFL, and it took the world by storm. Now, fans, we're expecting, you know, one day that this is going to happen. We just didn't expect it this way. Yeah. There was no uh, prepared statement. There wasn't a video or just anything like that. And Tom Brady is considered to be the GOAT and one of like, the best player of all time in football, yep. right? Yep, yep. So why would we randomly just get a notification that says Tom Brady retired? What? Wait. I know. <laughs> so his dad came out, made a statement, and says, no, Tommy has not made a final decision one way or the other. And anybody Tommy? else that says, he says Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> and he says anybody else that says that he has is absolutely wrong. So this is coming from Tom Brady Sr. Okay. And you know when Pops is talking, you know. 
Um, now, the GM, Tom Brady, did contact the Bucks GM and told him that he hasn't come up with a final decision on his retirement yet. And the third thing is TB12 Sports, they had, like, this tweet that went up, and it said seven Super Bowl rings, five Super Bowl MVPs, three league MVPs, 22 incredible seasons. Thank you for it all, at Tom Brady. Right. They took it down. Wow. And they deleted his well, I told you earlier, tweet. They deleted it. Somebody said, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, somebody said it earlier. If he comes back and says he's going to play one more year, um, then he goes down as the goat or be the biggest in- internet that, troll yes, ever. If he does that, I want to see him. Here goes, I uh, see him play. Here goes Dave Bondi on TikTok. This went viral uh, as of yesterday. And now Tom Brady is not retiring. So ESPN's Adam Schefter got it wrong. <laughs> he got it wrong. How According to the Associated Press, they are reporting that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers talked to Tom Brady and Tom Brady told them he's not retiring. <laughs> this just coming in a short time ago, literally just seconds ago, I wanted to let you know. So the initial report that ESPN had out there that Brady was retiring, not true. Now, I tr- <laughs> <laughs> not true. I trust ESPN and I trust Adam Schefter. He's always been the go to. I know. He's always been my go to. I agree. If I Adam agree. Schefter says it, it's, that's it. It's Bible. Yeah. You know, it's gospel. But they're sticking with it. And if they're sticking with it, I think they know something we don't. I'm still going to go and ride with ESPN and just maybe they are waiting for, maybe everybody else in the world's waiting for him to come out and make a statement. But they know something that we don't know. Right. Right. They're not just going to stick with it. I know. Adam Schefter's not going to say it. Just rumors. So he must deep, deep down know something. Exactly. That's just my, you know, that's my feeling. I I don't know. So what do you guys think? 302-858-5117. It's a Bill and Jessica show. We are looking for Delmarva's hottest couple. We're going to hook you up on Valentine's Day. Here's all the details. The Bill and Jessica Show.